Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're out here in the woods today, and I brought along something to check out, and uh, never, ever had I seen this knife before, so that intrigued me. We're looking at the Boker Plus Bushcraft Cormoran. Looking at... A 4.62 inch blade, a 9.5 overall, with about a 3 16th thickness on the blade, black G10 handles, full tang of course, 14C 28 end steel, and a very interesting grind on there as you can see. It's a full flat with like a Scandi type edge. It's very interesting. This like I said, I've never never really seen one quite like this, so I thought I would check it out. Now, of course, major drawback, Boker Plus. Now, Boker makes, you know, really good stuff, you know. However, the Plus is their budget end, so that's made in China. But this isn't a cheap knife. It the you know, only listing I really saw for it was on eBay for around a hundred bucks, you know, plus a little bit, you know. So, anyway, I had an opportunity to pick it up, so I did. And I thought we would check it out. Now, it does come with uh, what they're calling a Kydex sheath, and it may be... It's pretty thin, though, and it comes with one of these, I guess you would call it like a C-type clip there, which is okay. I mounted it up just to carry it the way it is, you know, just to uh, see how it worked out, and it seems to work out okay, actually. I mean, I'm sure I'll do something different because I don't like the sheath itself, but... It is razor sharp, I can tell you that, so let's uh, let's do a little bit of testing on that. And of course, I haven't cut anything with this. I did cut a few slices of paper before I left, just to, just to see. Yeah, it's... It's great. I mean, I don't know if I can get it to feather on this uneven surface or not. Well, not really with this. Let's uh, let's break something down here, and we'll try that. Try the feather in there. You know I'm going to baton. Oh, I hate this base like this. This is terrible. But there's no good stumps around here. And sure not doing it on the rock. Okay. Guess that works. doesn't seem to be having any trouble. I mean, like I said, it does have a nice edge on it. So, let's just see what we can do here. <clears throat> on this unstable base. Well, it does have some precision. I know I'm not really showing it, but I mean, I can feel it. This is not the best piece for 
feathering, but don't really have a lot of good to choose from around here. Of course, since they burnt the place, you know, anything smaller is gone. It's just everything big. And this was a standing, but it was dead, of course, so. It wants to bite deep. Very interesting, but, I mean, you can see, you know, with a good piece of wood, I mean, you could, you could definitely make some feathers. Try this. This would be a little harder, maybe. I don't know. Looks kind of rotted. We'll see. Yeah, kind of rotted. But, I mean, if the edge will hold up through batoning, it'll probably hold up through feathering. Because it did have, I mean, a fine little edge on it. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny. And the coating it has on it is, uh, it's real slick coating. It's almost like a stonewashed kind of, kind of coating. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, I mean, it does it. I mean, granted, it's my first time using it, so it's not exactly the greatest, but that'll get better over time. And you can see this thing has a really fine... Well, maybe you can see. Just a really super fine tip. Spider jump on me. There we got him. Well, what else should we do? I do, I do like the, uh, kind of the broomstick handle on it. You know how there's no swells or anything like that. Just nice and slick. It does have a hidden lanyard hole in the back. So that's pretty cool. Oh, fire steel. There we go. Should have a good sharp spine on it. So let's just see if it'll, if it'll do anything like that. Which, I mean, I'm sure it will. No problem. I mean, I'm not even pushing hard. I don't want it to fly over on my bag. You know, I mean, if you really get with it, it'll, it'll throw them no problem. So, yeah, that's good there. Um, I kind of like that it's stainless. I mean, that's kind of nice. I like having my options. You know, I like having the carbon and the stainless knives. That way, you know, you can choose what you want to choose you know, for your conditions. If you're going to be out in the rain for a week, you know, probably better bring a stainless knife unless you will care to 
you know, maintain maintain a uh, carbon knife. Do a little bit of notch in here, maybe, if I can get this thing to stand just for a second. Cedar probably isn't the best choice, but it's all right. Oh, yeah, good to go. At least it's a good stainless steel. Not some uh, Chinese no-name junk. So that's a plus. Just a little quick one, you know, no big deal. It did it, of course, just fine. Wipe her off and see if we can detect anything blade wise here. Looks good to me. Yeah, it looks good to me. Well, that was just a uh, pretty quick one. We'll definitely have to look at this knife some more, but since I was already out here today, I thought I'd share this with you guys. and Let me know what you guys thought. Of course, besides the whole China thing, you know, we uh, think we know what we all think about that part, but it is what it is, I guess. At least it's a decent knife, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, I guess that'll kind of wrap it up for now, unless uh, unless I find anything to add to this. So I guess with that being said, that'll uh, take care of that. And of course, you know, don't forget about our giveaway coming up here real soon. Go ahead and subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Well, here we are back at the house. Now you didn't think I was actually gonna do a uh, knife video with no fatwood, did you? No way that's going to happen. So I did want to just kind of do a little more feathering with uh, this type of wood here because we've been using it for all the other feathering and it seems to do okay. But mainly I want to use it because that's what we've used on the other stuff. So, you know, a little bit of consistency. And it is, you know, drier. Ooh, actually, I don't know. That might not be good at all. Well, let's just see. And this knife has got a fine little edge on it. Super sharp. You can definitely make them paper thin. After using this thing, getting used to it a little bit, I mean, it could probably make some serious feather sticks. Yeah, this wood's pretty soft, so it's wanting to kind of bite, but you can see and that was relatively effortless 
Now that, hopefully you can see that real well. This here is some stuff I found out there in the woods there that, man, this stuff is just nothing but just pure resin. It is very, very nice. And I mean, it just fogs the black smoke. As uh, you saw before, nice good spine on this thing. Probably won't take a whole lot to uh, ignite this, I wouldn't think. This stuff is pretty potent. All right, let's get our rod out here. Again, we'll go with the same four directions bushcraft. Just to show you, plenty good on the sparking. There. Look at that black smoke. I mean, this stuff is just... Some serious, serious fat wood here. Well, it would take just a little bit of that stuff. Have you a good fire going with that. <clears throat> so, yeah. Pretty decent little knife, actually. I like it. Uh, again, you know what I don't like about it, but... I gotta say, it's pretty darn good, though. Actually, now as far as the old uh, $100 price point, I don't know about that. You know, I <clears throat> I think there could be better options, maybe, you know, for that. But, I mean, all in all, though, pretty darn good knife. So, anyway couldn't have a knife review without some fat wood of course so anyhow i just wanted to show uh show you all this knife so uh take care